Go into your room. That's right. Sit on that fat of yours and do nothing but listen to records. Let's do a deep dive video review of the new Project X8 Evolution turntable. So there you see it's spinning on a display stand. I have the platter off because I want to show you all the details of this turntable. Now there's a review, a written review on the trackingangle.com website that I really suggest you read for all the details. But I know a lot of people don't like to read. I don't like to read anymore. So let's do this as a video. All right. I kneel before you behind the dust cover. So the Evolution X8 is a mass loaded turntable. So that means that the designers have chosen mass as the means to deal with vibrations in this turntable from the outside and also from the inside. And so this plinth is made out of uh, MDF, medium density fiberboard, which is the same material used in uh, many loudspeakers. But it has an additional damping system inside consisting of uh, small al metal alloy balls that are placed strategically within the plinth to deal with vibrations. Uh, so it's not just a piece of MDF. It's sitting on uh, aluminum feet that have sorbethane uh, bottoms as a means of isolating the turntable from the outside world. The more expensive project, Extension 9, uses magnetically levitated feet. So you lose a little bit there, but not a lot as far as I'm concerned. The arm is the same uh, Evo 9cc arm used on the more expensive Extension 9 turntable. It's got a very heavy um, seat support here that holds the bearings and it's a carbon fiber arm and you can adjust, you can loosen two uh, little Allen screws on either side of this piece right here and you can raise or lower the arm to set VTA SRA. You can also loosen another screw and rotate the entire tube to adjust azimuth if you so desire or you can leave all that alone and not bother with it. The uh, In America this turntable comes uh, for $24.99 with a Moonstone moving magnet Sumiko cartridge because the same company Sumiko, which is now called Fine Sound America, distributes this turntable in America. If you're considering buying one in Europe, you get an Ortofon Quintet Blue, different. Drive is via a quartz oscillator referenced electronic speed control that works really, really well. It measured, this thing measured really well and sounded really well. And you turn it on with the flip switch on the bottom here and then you push this button and switch between 33 and 45. There's no pitch control on this, but both speeds measured exactly 33 point, well, the 33.33 was 33.34, which is as good as 33.33. And the 45 was equally good, and so it's belt drive. Now I've left the platter off here because I wanna show you something really important. So this is an inverted bearing ceramic top bearing. So you see it's a fairly short bearing. The longer the bearing, the more likely you are to have play in the bearing and, and uh, play in the movement of the platter on the bearing. So short is really good. Uh, the only issue with a short bearing, inverted bearing, is that the thrust pad is well up into the platter and so where the where the ball meets the thrust pad, that's where the noise occurs. And that noise is occurring very close to the platter surface. That's a disadvantage of this kind of bearing. But the advantages way outweigh the disadvantages, especially at this kind of price point. Because the center of gravity of the platter is going to be below the point of rotation, which gives it great stability. So you're not going to get any kind of rocking on this particular platter. Okay? And this is also a magnetically levitated platter. Not completely, but there's enough uh, levitation to relieve all of the pressure uh, from the ex 
heavy platter actually that comes with this so it's riding on the ball it's not bouncy 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 but it's it's sufficiently uh unloaded so that you don't get a lot of friction you don't get a lot of noise so in every way this bearing is a really really good design now i'm going to show you the platter so this is about an 11 pound platter beautifully machined out of uh a aluminum alloy it's got this damping ring of a uh an elastomer kind of material that damps the platter and there's a brass bush that you can see there and deep within that is the thrust pad and it's located close to the close to the spindle that's where the noise would be but because this is magnetically levitated to uh, a certain degree the thrust pad and the uh, ball don't see the full weight of the platter so you get all the advantages of the mass of the platter you get the advantages of the center of gravity of this platter being well below where the thrust pad and the ball meet together in here and you get it's a very quiet turntable and this is an uncommonly nice platter nice heavy aluminum platter at this price point $24.99 with the cartridge I think it's $22.99 with no cartridge all right fully adjustable in every way so that's this turntable please read the full review you can do a lot with this turntable you can buy this just as it is and run it just as it is and by the way it sets up really really quickly because it's got great instructions which I'll show you you can buy this you can unpack it and within Within 15 or 20 minutes, you could have it up and running. But then, as far as what you can do with it, after you've got it set up, the sky is the limit. You can leave the mat on it that comes with it, which is a the standard kind of felt mat. Or you can upgrade it to all kinds of different great mats, and uh, that makes a big difference in the sound quality, believe it or not. I'm sure most of you believe that it does. You know that. And so, uh, if you read the review on the website, trackingangle.com. There's a full review, not only of this turntable and all the features, uh, but also of modifications, uh, things that I added to it to improve the sound, all of which made a big difference. There's one other thing. It comes standard with a, uh, with a DIN, a straight DIN to RCA uh, cables for use in most um, of your typical uh, phono preamps, but for an extra couple hundred dollars, you can get this really nicely made DIN to XLR balance for if you have a fully balanced uh, phono preamp like the one that was supplied for this review, which I'll be reviewing separately. And that gets rid of all the noise. You don't have to worry about hunting down ground hum of any kind. This will eliminate it. Okay, that's it. This is a really, really good turntable. Sounds really fine. You can up the cartridge to just about any I put on this a uh, a Luxman cartridge that sells for thirty six hundred dollars approximately and this arm handled it really really well and it sounded really really good and it tracked very well as well so that's the project x8 evolution turntable uh, I think project is has really come up with a winner here it's it's over a thousand dollars less expensive than the extension nine which uses the same arm the same plinth the same bearing and the only the major differences are the um the feet which here are sitting they're aluminum feet but they're sitting on sorbethane as opposed to magnetic levitation and the top of the platter is bare aluminum with the felt mat that they give you as opposed to a recycled uh, vinyl platter that's uh, adhered to the to the top of this platter but it's the same platter and it's the same motor a little less sophistication in the uh, in the design of uh, of this where the pulley sits but not that big a deal I think it would be really interesting to uh, to get the more expensive turntable and compare I don't think there would be that big a difference and I think part of why uh, this turntable actually exists is that uh, the company has decided they want to get control of this part of the market. The above $1,500, below $3,000 price point 
and um, this this turntable really um, you'd have to look pretty hard to find another turntable priced at this price point that can uh, match or beat this unless you want direct drive and that's a whole different uh, subject anyway that's it and uh, I hope you read the review on trackingangle.com and if you're in the in the market for a turntable costing around twenty five hundred dollars complete with a cartridge um, this is a really good uh, choice everything about this uh, turntable checked out to be really really excellent okay